Oh my gosh, so proud of you, baby. You are, oh yeah, you see you're still having some problems. So good. The string, you couldn't even keep your head from doing an exorcism motion. So I want to talk a minute about something called wry neck. And young chicks, uh, some of them, will tend to get wry neck, and it just means that their neck wants to bend over almost in the opposite position, almost 180 degrees out. They have trouble drinking, eating. Um, we had <laughs> standing, definitely standing. Like half their body won't move, almost like they've had a stroke. The issue most of the time is a vitamin deficiency, and specifically one called selenium. Don't know why they don't have enough selenium, but when you give them selenium, they perk right up. So this little one was. I, I thought she was going to die, really. What we did is we, we took a little medicine dropper, we mixed a solution with some honey, and a part of a multivitamin that had some selenium in it. We didn't have any selenium tablets. So just a common multivitamin, make sure it has selenium, and crushed it up and mixed all that together, and we just kept uh, feeding her with the... With tip of that bottle and she would drink it and then we kept her in an incubator um, just to keep her warm oh my goodness you are just really moving now I don't have any video of her yesterday but I, I kid you not you would have looked at her and said uh, you're just gonna have to call her Yeah. She's drinking. So Just give her a little tiny, I mean a little tiny bit at a time. So really in the course oh. of about 24 hours. She's completely perked up again. She's standing. She's standing, she's walking, she's been in an incubator. So and sort of like you keep a baby in a, in a NICU. So <laughs> obviously making noise like crazy. She was not making this much noise yesterday. So yeah. she is really just, and her head was spinning. So she was looking all the way, turned all the way up around. We've had so many failures when it came to chicks like this. And having other, ha having issues. So. This one is looking great. So mm -hmm. it's, it's going to stay in a little bit longer by itself. Yep. So I've got now food and water in the incubator that it can do itself, but it was staying in a bowl for a while, and yep. it just it would just lay in the bowl. So we put it in a bowl just wow. so it couldn't flop around or get loose. Uh, tried to put it back with the other chicks, but all they wanted to do was pile in the bowl. <laughs> but now she at least has the legs to be able to find her own water and her own food. So, I really think this one's going to make it. This is a meat chick. But all of our chicks get the same amount of love, no matter what they're going to become when they get older. Yes, they do. So, finally, good to have a, a success story when it comes to some sort of an illness. Thanks for watching, and if you have this <laughs> issue, hopefully this will help you and you get your chicks back and healthy. <laughs> All right, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon on the homestead. Bye, Bye. everyone.